So I was able to take the oil pan off. So those who don't know what this baffle does or what it is, it um, prevents uh, the oil starvation since your pickup tube is located right here. So the moment you uh, you do a hard pull, all the oil goes back to the oil pan and that uh, pickup tube doesn't have any oil to pick up. And that's why a lot of people throw rods and uh, they mess up their block because of that oil starvation problem. But I already got that fixed. I was able to throw in that baffle in there. I put the two rivets and it fit perfect. You know, it's it's nice and sturdy. So right now I did get, I think little pieces of uh, shavings in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up. And I'm gonna try to throw it back in there. Like I said, this thing was a pain in the ass, but it's worth it. Those $25 that I paid for that is gonna save me tons of money from the engine blowing up on me. So I got some bad news and I got some good news. The good news is that I finally put the oil pan in. And you guys can see it right here. I put the new filter on. It's got a new oil pan bolt. Um, and it's pretty much on already. Everything is on. I put the diff on already. Uh, the axle is still out on that side. And uh, it's out on this side as well. Because I was going to go ahead and do the headers already. But the bad news is uh when i was starting to remove the bolts from the manifold i don't know if you guys can see that one right there that first one uh that one broke off and that one was kind of sitting flush to the head so that's gonna be a pain to take off um i've heard a lot of people you know breaking uh these bolts and they either gotta remove the head and take it to the shop or they either try to drill it out and um use an extractor and there's some other people that weld nuts to it but i don't have enough room to like weld a nut on it <laughs> all right guys so i managed to remove the other bolts without breaking any more these guys should already be able to come off well after about 20 minutes it's almost out but this side's done already just a little more uh, pulling and that should be all the way out uh you do have to move that condenser a little bit you have to unbolt it just try to wiggle it through there and don't forget to take the dipstick out of the oil pan the other side's done i just got to focus on that stud that's stuck in there all the other ones were able to come off without any issues no more broken ones on this side passenger side so that's good all right so i managed to remove the driver's side manifold without any big issues uh i didn't have any issues removing the bolts on this side uh, the only issue was that I did realize that the first one over here was uh, broken. So that's going to be the second one that's broken. Um, this one sits a little flush to the head, but I'm going to go ahead and try to extract both of them. Uh, this one on this side and then the other one on that side. I'm going to try to go to the store tomorrow and get an extractor kit and try to drill them out and then uh, use the extractor for it. But yeah, this side's already out. It's sitting over there. And yeah, we're getting so close installing these headers it's just one thing after another like i said you just gotta push through you gotta find a way but i'm already so close to finishing it up and yeah, that should be it for this video i'm um, showing you guys the progress and the issues i'm running into but like i said it shouldn't be bad and again i got my fingers crossed but yeah that should be it for this video